Hello everybody, Sammy Bulgaria with West Coast Polishing and Detailing in Fresno, California. Hey, I'm going to be showing you how to take the uh, Airstream lettering, the logo from the manufacturer right here. And I'm going to be showing you how to sand these down, prepare them, do a cut and buff and a polish and how to paint the insides uh, of the lettering. Okay, so stay tuned for that video coming up. Alright everybody, hello, this is Sammy Bulgaria from West Coast Polishing and Detailing. Hey, we are going to shoot a short tutorial video on how to polish out the Airstream logos on the side of the uh, Airstream. Uh, this one right here, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start sanding the Airstream. Uh, plate deal here and we're gonna use we're gonna we're just gonna go with 320 you might have to put a little extra effort in it but being the location of it and the the whole dynamic of polishing that we don't want to go too aggressive as far as sandpaper is concerned we don't want to start with like 180 or 220 although it, it'll take down it'll take down the mill finish on the on the uh, letters faster it'll remove more stock but then it's we're gonna to have to come back with aggressive cutting techniques and that means more torque more force more compounds higher speeds and we don't want to do that so we're gonna we're gonna just gradually take it down with 320 we're gonna use our sandpaper and use our mass pretty decent but you saw the effort I put into it now if I go start polishing this it's gonna look good but all the mill marks from the letters the the mills that are the lines they're still gonna be there so I know this so I'm gonna put in a little bit of effort see I can look closely and I can see some of the inconsistencies in the metal and how it's not coherent enough yet so it, uh, a, a good finish is a good pre a good prep okay so I'm gonna work it some more and uh, you know, I, I reposition my sandpaper there a little bit uh, so I can get the benefit of the whole deal. Paper is going to wear down pretty quick, so that's okay. Uh, we don't want to go again, we don't want to go too aggressive. Okay. <laughs> That pretty much does it. We could probably send a little bit more. Um, now, if you're wondering how much pressure I put on there, uh, it's a couple of pounds of pressure, five pounds of pressure. Uh, they seem to be pretty sturdy, so they can take it. Now, even though we started with 320, uh, and even though these are not made, the sand, the sandpapers uh, are not made with uh, diminishing abrasives, they will eventually diminish and break down. That's not what they're designed to do, but if you sand long enough with the 320 grit paper, you're going to end up with 400, 450, maybe even 500, which will benefit you when you go to polish this. Uh, that means just less aggressive marks and scratches. If you look closely, you're starting to see a reflection. 
So that, that probably took it down to about 400, 450, and if we're lucky, even 500. And it is really smooth. It's not gonna take much to polish this. Okay, so we'll get into the policing stage here shortly. I'm probably gonna go over it with probably about a thousand grit sandpaper just to make things a little bit smoother so we don't have to get too aggressive on this. Okay? Okay, we're back. Okay, so we're gonna incorporate a couple little steps. We got right here, what we got is a, a, thousand, a thousand grit block. And we're gonna kinda just run that on there. Uh, again, the more steps you do, I don't want to, I don't want to overstep this as far as too many steps, but you know, just for the sake of illustration and giving you some options, uh, you can see how that starts to turn silver right away. Uh, just kind of get a shiny deal on that. Just got to kind of watch out. See that? If you kind of just go back and forth in it. See that? And if you scuff the, well, you don't want to, you probably would want to tape that off, but we're polishing it more. So if we hit that, uh, the, some of the polish, like right there, we're going to, we're just going to repolish that because we still got some stages to go on that. But anyway. So again, we're using the thousand grit and the 1500 grit. Um, now again, I would have probably taped it off, but we're polishing it, so just to avoid any scratches. A little tricky getting in here, but then we're going to use 2,000 grit. We could use our fingers on that. We just again, we're just kind of we're just kind of smoothing in it out. We just see how beneficial that is when we start to polish it. We're going to start buffing it out. I should have taped it off from the start, but you can make that choice when you start the project. Uh, that was just, that's just common sense. Uh, go figure, my bad. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we can fix up anything we, any marks we make, but for the illustration, I should have just did that. But anyway, so here we go. We're going to get ready to start polishing it. Okay, we're going to go with the, we're going to go with the uh, airway, a used up airway so it's small, real dense and stiff. So it does because if it's larger, it's going to want to grab the edges. It's going to want to pull you in all kinds of directions. You're going to be fighting. So it's real stiff. It's still got the cut, cut and coloring power. And then we're going to use a green chromium stainless steel blue bar, uh, green bar. Okay? That's the first initial cut and in color. Uh, it sounds real aggressive, but you know what? We're being really careful. Uh, you could always do that. You, you could even do this job with the dermo or a Muslim wheel, but you know, it's just gonna, you know, certain benefits, pros and cons of every every uh, avenue you take. You do it with the dermo, it's gonna take forever. You do it with the Muslim and it's just, uh, it's gonna be safer, but it's just gonna be a little bit more awful with, the, with that kind of wheel. So we chose to do it this way.
Okay. Okay. We got the whole cut and color down. Now, just a, a tip and a suggestion uh, for the novice and the amateur, you could put the same wheel on a smaller variable speed Makita or some other variable speed. It'll slow it down. It'll give you it'll give you a lot of more flexibility in terms of safety and being comfortable with uh, you know with, with using one of these wheels on something like this as opposed to 6,000 RPMs. Okay. Um, Thank you. A white wheel, uh, low treated resin, it's a short used one, that way we have lots of uh, stiffness so that we don't get caught up in the edges and then we got our blue moon, okay? Letters there. Okay. We got it all down. Just a little clean up and a little back in between the grooves, but that's okay. We'll use some mineral spirits to clean that up. Now, again, I'm not using much pressure, even though it sounds aggressive. We're not putting pressure. We're not getting all crazy. We're just uh, we're just working it in like we would anything else. Again, if you're not comfortable with the high speed grinder, you put that on a slower grinder or a slower buffer. You'll be just fine. You heard me toggling my toggle switch. That helps you clean up some of the black when the wheel slows down. It wants to grab that. Uh, that rouge and that compound left behind, okay? Alrighty, not bad. Hey, hello everybody. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. Hopefully you found it helpful into uh, how to polish some of the uh, Airstream lettering. Hey, this is what worked for us. Hopefully it helped you as guidelines to get you to where you need to be. Hey, if you like this video uh, and videos like it, hey, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and get notification when we post new videos. And if there's anything that you saw or anything that uh, any comments or any suggestions you might have in, in reference to what we're doing, Hey, drop us a comment, drop us an email, give us a call. We sure would like to hear from you, uh, our audience, our viewers, and some of our friends on our um, on our groups, uh, Polish With Me and uh, Airstream Addicts and uh, uh, Detailing for Dummies. Uh, sure like to hear what you uh, have to say, so uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, until the next video, this is Sammy Bulgaro with West Coast Polishing. Thank you.